who would have thought that the 2010s were just here? One second the biggest thing to hit the news was Fifty Shades of Grey being the most popular book to hit shelves, and everyone immediately got tired of having to listen to the, let it go, song from Frozen. Next thing you know, we're out finishing college, getting married, and having kids. All those big milestones just kind of came and went, didn't they? But one thing that hasn't disappeared is your insatiable need for speed. Luckily for us, the 2010s were a great decade for sport bike riders looking to step up their game, or at least kick off their motorcycling journey. While many of the newer models are outfitted with some of the flashiest riding technology you've ever seen, the 2010s were a stepping stone for a lot of advancements without any sacrifice to performance. We got to see motorcycle manufacturers release sport bikes with newer designs, bigger engines, more power, and better handling. Put all of that together, and you've got a decade's worth of fun. Hello, we are here again and if you still watching this video just hit the like button thank you, let's get started. 2010 BMW S1000RR A sport bike that understood the assignment of what it meant to be an in-demand motorcycle would be the BMW S1000RR. The German auto manufacturer first debuted this bike in 2010, which also happened to be their first entry into the new genre of superbikes. But this is one of those times in which a motorcycle brand nails it on the first try. Considering that BMW is world-renowned for having some of the greatest engineering minds on earth, the S1000RR was able to raise the bar for every other bike in its class when it came to power, performance, and handling. It was also outfitted with some exciting new features that many would view as standard these days, like ABS, traction control, for selectable ride modes, as well as the option to add a quick shifter. It was intended to be a limited edition model with only 1000 available units. But after seeing the explosively positive response and demand from customers, BMW brought the S1000RR back into the factory to be produced for the masses. 2014 Ducati Multistrada 1200 Not to let BMW hog all the glory for high-end European sport bikes, Ducati had some serious contenders for the 2010s as well, such as the 2014 Multistrada 1200. This motorcycle was first unveiled in 2003. But it wasn't until 2012 when its vastly superior offspring took center stitch as one of the more popular dual sport bikes to hit the market. Synonymous with versatility, the Multistrada 1200 was one of those bikes that wasn't afraid of living a little bit more on the edge. Not just in terms of cranking the throttle on the highway, but by bringing the adventure to the dirt trails. For a bike to excel in multiple environments like busy cities, suburban cruising, and off-roading, the Ducati Multistrada 1200 was packing some real power in its Testistrada 11DS engine. Pretty good for a sport bike to separate itself from the crowd by being more than just one note. 2013 Honda CBR 500R Everyone knows Honda has made a real name for itself in the sport bike market thanks to its line of CBRs. But for the 2010s, one of the most well-rounded of the group was the CBR 500R. Not too powerful, but also not underpowered, the 2013 Honda CBR 500R was the perfect middle ground for beginner and intermediate riders. For those that already had the confidence to ride on a larger scale, this bike was an asset on the highways, long twisting roads, and the tight confines of the city. For riders looking for a bike that had high responsiveness in first and second gear, this bike was able to deliver. Anything higher required a little more patience and finesse. But it was nonetheless a really fun bike to ride on. 2014 Yamaha YZF R1 As great as the 2010s were for sport bike riders, it was an also very competitive market. Thankfully for Yamaha, it had the YZF R1 as one of its big contenders. Light on its feet, 
This bike was housed on a sturdy aluminum frame to allow it to glide through the tightest of twists and turns while rocking a 998 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled engine, allowing it to figuratively and literally blow past the competition. It was also equipped with a soft and cushy suspension system that featured adjustable 43mm inverted front forks, and a rear four-way single shock in the rear. For a sport bike that was able to deliver the speed, power, and handling one would expect, the YZF R1 was able to check off all the boxes and more. Out of all the models that stood out in the 2010s, the YZF R1 stood above the rest. 2015 Kawasaki Ninja 650 You were probably wondering when a Kawasaki Ninja was going to show up on this list. Well, you are in luck because as far as sport bikes go, the 2015 Kawasaki Ninja 650 is here to make a statement. This bike has everyone one could want out of a Ninja. Strong acceleration and plenty of kick without feeling overpowered. A responsive braking system. User-friendly handling. It pretty much fits the description of a well-rounded sport bike that can excel in any riding environment. Cities, suburbs, rural countryside, there isn't anywhere that this bike cannot shine. All you need to focus on is the road ahead of you, and a destination. Or maybe you're just going to cruise around to feel the wind in your face. Whether it was meant for weekend joyrides or daily commutes, this is a bike on the fast track for fun. 2017 Ducati 1299 Panigale S Another heavy hitter from the Italian motorcycle brand, the Ducati 1299 Panigale S was another force to be reckoned with both on the road and in the market. The 1299 Panigale S isn't as generous towards newer riders as its brethren that was previously listed. This was a bike meant for experienced riders looking to push the limit and really challenge anyone brave enough to tame it. Its 1,285 cubic centimeters engine is not to be taken lightly, either. If this bike intimidated you, that meant that you were not ready. This is a bike that demands to be taken seriously, and there is no room for negotiation. But for those with enough riding experience to live up to the challenge, the 1299 Panigale S would obey their every command. While it can still take a gentle cruiser around the suburbs, an open stretch of highway and some tight corners is what it yearns for. 2013 Yamaha FZ6R For a lot of sport bike riders, all that matters to them is the amount of torque and horsepower that a motorcycle can produce. They want to really feel the wind in their hair as they gun it down the highway. But not all sport bike riders are built the same. Some riders don't mind being able to go fast, but they also don't want to have a miniature heart attack in the process either. That's where the 2013 Yamaha FZ6R comes into play. This bike is another example of a well-rounded sport bike that doesn't take itself too seriously. Sure, you can kick it into high gear if you want, but it has no problem just chilling out and cruising along the back roads on a Friday afternoon. It is this kind of attitude that makes the FZ6R such a big hit among beginner riders, especially because they won't be outgrowing it anytime soon. 2014 Kawasaki Z1000 For those unfamiliar with the sport bike genre, Kawasaki makes more than just ninjas. The 2014 Kawasaki Z1000 is another prime example of a sport bike that shines brightly in its performance and aesthetic design. Originally appearing in 2003, the 2014 Z1000 is the fourth generation of its kind. Equipped with a 1,043 cubic centimeters inline-4 engine, a new airbox, LED lights, and traction control, this bike brights a lot to the table. Especially when ridden by someone with intermediate to expert amounts of riding experience. But the bike doesn't just ride aggressively, it was designed to look like a predator in pursuit of its prey. Whether it's riding high or sitting still, the Z1000 is just a cool bike to look at. But for those that know, it's even much cooler to ride. 2015 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R ABS 
As previously stated, the 2010s were a great decade for sport bike riders. It was especially good time to get your hands on a Kawasaki Ninja. But in 2015, Ninja fans were in for a treat as Kawasaki released a special 30th anniversary edition of the Ninja ZX-6R ABS. After it made its debut in 1985, Kawasaki celebrated three decades worth of racing with a sport bike that embodied the mode's mantra of forever fearless. Housed on the current ZX-6R ABS platform, this bike brought a little extra style in its design to make it recognizable from across the parking lot. But it doesn't just look pretty. It's got the racetrack-ready power of its 636 cubic centimeters inline-4 engine, and the performance of its top-rated suspension and braking systems to exceed riders' expectations. 2012 KTM 1190 RC8R you know we can't finish this list of sport bikes of the 2010s without bringing up KTM. For a bike that was truly built for racing, the 2012 KTM 1190 RC8R was the bike that felt at home on the track, but was also, surprising to some, comfortable enough to be street legal. Equipped with one of the most powerful V2 engines of the decade, as well as one of the best chassis ever designed, this motorcycle was both an intimidating force on the racetrack, and a real-life performer in the streets. Hit a corner while riding the 1190 RC8R, and you will feel the bike's natural ability to weave, lean, and turn with such fine agility. Roll that throttle as you come out of that turn, and it just may make any city street feel like the racetrack. That's all for today's video, what you think of this list just let us know in the comment section thank you.